Welcome to the following presentation of the Dozen Trivia by Barstool Sports. Is Carl. it Crime Dog, Fred and Griffin? Jesus, how in the hell? The winners of the Dozen yes. are turning into big screaming hoggers. Yeah, the movie's called Get <laughs> All right, it's the dozen match 344 overall, the eighth match of season four, the last match of this second week of the season, uh, four match second week, and we have. A good one with a bit of a change, a last-second sub in here, which we'll get to in a second. It is the reigning champions of the dozen, hoping for a <laughs> a match for all three members play, even just two. Uh, Team Minahan, Kirk, Rico, and the new member, Hank, uh, making his debut for Team Minahan. The briefcase gets more filled on that logo. And on the other side, Frankie, Trent, Last second change, Riggs traveling, had a, had a bit of a snafu with scheduling. So they're going to the bench, and this is who they chose. They chose their producer, big fan of this show, also a huge Minna fan. Yeah. Uh, Kyle Timms. Kirk, I'll let you start. Where do you want to start here? <laughs> you want to start talking? You want to talk about Hank, or do you want to yeah, talk I'm, about I'm who's on the other Hank side? part of the team. We've had our ups and downs in the past, but we're together now for sure, forever. So I'm thrilled to have Hank here. Happy to have Rico here, right side up, um, which is good. That's progress. Uh, I'm happy to be playing Trent and Frankie. Uh, I mean, the third guy is just a, it's just a walking dead man to me. I, you know, to be a Minna fan, the turn is, and I'll say, boy, Trent and Frankie are obviously huge Dan Rappaport fans. I mean, uh, I mean, like, you know, what, what the fuck are we doing here? Like, is this? I mean, is a content game or no? So we'll see what happens. You know, I love Trent and Frankie more than anybody. So um, uh, I'm looking forward to playing this game. But boy, I, I, Kyle Timms is banned. I said the word out to the Minna fans. He is banned for life for attending any events, <laughs> listening to the podcast, talking about. I had to sit there at this fucking thing with Frankie, this golf thing, after the lunch, and listen to this idiot yap away for 45 fucking minutes and pretend like I was interested in anything he said. One of the great regrets of my life. So I'd give anything to have that over. That's what I'd say. It's Skip, healthy debate. You said you love Trent and Frankie more than anybody. You meant just on that podcast, right? Just, get the, just answer the questions there, Rico, and try and hang in for the whole game, okay? Can we do that before, before we start? You got it. Yes, sir. <laughs> Listen, we're um, excited to be here. I, I'm sure Kyle Nervous is about as nervous as he's ever been because he is a huge, huge Dozen fan, and he's also a huge, huge Minna fan, as we've gone over. Um, I'm just hoping he can keep his wits about him and, and answer some questions. He said he's very good at the show, and that's what he always tells us. He says he does the Daily Dozen every single day and is very good at it. Um, we're just looking for a little bit of contribution. This is not a good dozen team. I was texting him that before, like not a ton of pressure because the bar is pretty low, but just answer a few and just try not to get knocked off your game here, Kyle. You'll be all right. I'm going to, I'll try. I mean, uh, Trent texted me at like three 30 and I've had diarrhea like four times since then. <laughs> it's good. So it's <laughs> only totally, totally, buddy. It's only going to get more anxious and nerve wracking for you, but you also have to, we have to get to the point where they look exactly alike. Right. So to everyone, I, Trent yeah. and Kyle Timms look exactly alike. It's one of the funniest things of all time. The fact that he he works for our brand is nuts. We just have two Trents on the same. They're wearing team. the same. And four plays a big team. We got to. Yeah, they're wearing the same thing. So I mean, four plays a big squad. So yeah, we didn't pick Danny Rappaport, but like we run deep at four play, and this is one of our guys off the bench. Like this is just who we picked today, and maybe you go to Danny another day. So we're going Kyle Timms all all day, all way today. Big chin. Dan, Dan Rapport on the bench, fuming right now. Uh, four play, ranked 17, always a strong fan vote. No matches yet. Team Minahan 0 1 0, but has not completed even through a bonus round with a full team yet. Kirk, you almost pulled off the win on your own. Uh, New Amsterdam Vodka, the sponsor of the bonus round and our one of our lifelines. Make sure if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. Been saying it. Tons of people watching, not subscribe. We see the numbers. Please subscribe. Helps us out a ton. Want to get that channel up there? People can find it and watch the matches, like the video as well. Here we go: twenty-four questions, twelve rounds of trivia. Twenty-fifth being the bonus round. Uh, four play will go first every time. Team in a hand second. Four play. Who do you want to have be final answer person here? I can do it. Okay. Nice. 
Trent takes over his final guy. Uh, double up any category you want. That's one of your three lifelines, except for round 10 already worth two points. That's the niche category round. You also have call a friend and uh, your New Amsterdam vodka double sip. Can answer a question twice. That and a call a friend can be paired together. Uh, here we go. First category is going to be Major League Baseball. Major League Baseball for four play. Anyone want to double? Here we go. No. Aaron Sanchez pitched for this AL team from 2014 through 2019, winning the AL ERA title in 2016 as he posted a 15 and 2 record. This is for team. But the tight. Or for a four play. You said four this play is us. Or first. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, is this the tiger? This is the Tigers. I like the Tigers. Yeah, I think De- Detroit Tigers. I'm pretty sure. Um, Aaron Sanchez pitched for that's five years. We should fucking know this, no problem. Um, I'm the first name that popped into my head was the was the Detroit Tigers. I want to say Detroit, and I always get made fun of for saying that, but it's the Detroit Tigers. I don't have anything. So what if, do you yeah, if you like the gut, I'm with it. I, Kyle. I know you're not the biggest sports guy, but we you go to Tigers. Sure. Yeah. Fuck. Tigers. Final answer. Ooh. Is it the Blue Jays, guys? Uh, I, I was thinking Tigers. Blue Jays is definitely a Tigers. Tigers. I think we can eliminate that. Uh, yeah, all right, Blue Jays. What? Blue, all right, Blue Jays, final answer. That is correct. <laughs> One nothing minute. I think oh my you were probably thinking huh. Annabelle Sanchez is my guess. Oh. It's all right. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Other side to make it 2 nothing early. My friend, the Joe Gonzalez, pitched for this NL team from 2012. That's the right, guys? Yeah. Yes, Nationals 100%. Final answer. Final answer. That is Nationals. correct. Yes. Hey, this the is your spot right here. Right? He reads quick. Crazy. Good part. He reads quicker. Are you kidding me, Aaron Sanchez? <laughs> Celebrity mashup. This is for you know, the you know, was, uh, you know, I was just – actually, this is, this is why the show is crazy. You know, I was talking to you about Aaron Sanchez the other day. We talked for about an hour and a half. Dan Rappaport. God I mean, damn it. Like, yeah, he had so many interesting things to say about it. I was surprised. We had a really <laughs> nuanced conversation. It was very strange. He's a good friend of mine. He's actually – actually. Yeah, you guys are close. I've, I've noticed that. You guys are close. I like him way more than Kyle. Yeah. I'll say that. He's <laughs> Rappaport all day. Rappaport all day. Four play. Wow. Four play. Two celebrities mashed up in a photo. Name the two celebrities. Oh, is that um I know oh, the mi- the middle I'm pretty sure I know it, both, but the middle is Joseph Gordon Levitt. Is it Alec Baldwin and, and Joseph Gordon Levitt? On the outside, yeah. Yeah, let's go Great let's job, go guys. with that final. That is correct. It's one of the few ones I actually knew. God damn it. JGL. There you go, Kyle. Get our sea legs under us here. Hey, there you go. I it was more of a late night host. Team Minahan. Yeah. Two celebrities. I know the I I know it. You know the outside, Hank? I know the inside. I know the I know inside. The, I know the outside. outside I, if I can name the movies he's in. All right, go ahead. He's the Hulk. Is it, is it Mark Ruffalo and yeah. uh, DJ yeah. Novak? Yep. All right, final answer. That is correct. Good job. Three, Three to one. one. That looks like Nate Parcel. That looks like Nate. NBA. <laughs> NBA next category. Anyone want a double NBA? No lifelines used yet. We do not, right, guys? No. 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 Okay, here we go. This is for four play. Byron Scott won the 2007-2008 NBA Coach of the Year Award after leading what Western Conference team to a two-seed? Oh, this is four, four play. Oh, shit. Your fucking kids are shut up, Kyle. Mm. Uh, the Hornets? Are they in the West? I can't. I never always forget. That, that was the only thing that I could so. think of. It was the Hornets. Five. I don't know. Is that your answer or three? Um, Hornets it? final. Oh, fuck did he pull one? I don't think That is correct. Three to two. Oh, wow. Nice. Trent, good pull. Thank you. Trent Ryan. All right, huge. That was big. I didn't even know they were in the West. I always get them confused all the time, but we're good. All right, the here we go. Charlotte Hornets are in the Western you know Conference. There yeah. we go. Yes. Sam Mitchell won the 2006-2007 NBA, NBA Coach of the Year award for leading what that Eastern the Hawks Conference guys team or no? Is that the Hawks? That's when they were really good. Yeah. Uh, it's not the Bulls. Who would like to in the East? Is it the really Raptors? Good. Is it the Raptors? Raptors? No, I think they were bad back then. I like the yeah. Hawks. It's not the Celtics. They were really good then. It's not the Nets. The Celtics, uh, Celtics actually 
weren't good quite. It was like the year before they got cut. I know what you're saying. It wasn't the Pacers, magic. Pistons. I like that. I, I, like I want to do this well, again. Close. Kirk? Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Uh, we're going to double sip. All right. First guess? Uh, Raptors. That is correct. Four Whoa. to two. Wow. Shit. I didn't think I they were good. Good call. Good call. Wow. Thanks, Rico. Appreciate it. Wow. Uh, four to two. Music next category. Music. We want to double it, Frank? That's my fault, guys. That's my fault. I knew it. Yeah. I mean, Kyle's pretty good at music too, right? Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, let's do All it. All right. Let's double. We're going to double music. Doubled up for four play. This would tie it up. Here we go. Fuck. What is the title of this 2005 song? 2005 song title. What is it? Who's that? That's Mike Shinoda. Yeah, it's from Lincoln Park, but it's his other band. Yeah. Um, I don't. I don't even know the chorus. I wouldn't be able to think of it. Feels like, can you play it again? Yes, I can. I mean, I would have said come back home, but you you think you wouldn't play it in the in the example. Fuck, I don't know. Shit. Five. Four. I got nothing. Uh, <laughs> home final home. answer. Yeah. Other I side. Believe, I believe it's Fort Minor, where'd you go? Final answer. That's a big steal for the new battle. Hank, 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 Hank. Wow. Ooh. Okay. My man. Big steal for the new member. Two points. Uh, 60 to make it 7 to 2. 2004 song. Wow. They play it in fucking Entourage. They go to see this live in Entourage. This is not my era, guys. You guys, if you can get this, go for Happy it. Happy Feliz Cumpleanos, Johnny Drama. Fuck! Uh, you want it again? Yeah, please. Vertigo? No. <laughs> no. Uh, Sunday, bloody Sunday. No, no, no. I don't think so. No. One, one more. Okay, last time. Well, he played twice. Look so. Three, two. It's like in your. I don't one. know. Shit. It's like in your. I don't know. Other yeah. side. Do we know it? It's you too. It, yeah, it's you too. I, I know. I just don't entourage. Know. Guys, it's in Entourage. If that helps. I think it's in Entourage, and it's you too. Da, 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 da. Damn, we're usually pretty good at music. That's a hard one. You need an answer in Who five, four, three, some U two song. I don't know. Final. Just say tonight. I don't know. Correct answer is City of Blinding Light. City of oh, Blinding oh. Light. I actually knew this. I yeah. That's not me. Damn. Uh, here we go. Six to two. Stolen double, no, but they miss music. College football next category. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, now we're in it. College Slaughterhouse. Next category. Double sip and call a friend for foreplay. Double up and call a friend for Minahan. Here we go. During the 2017 season, junior Malik Rogier led the AC, this ACC school to an Orange Bowl appearance, a 34-24 loss to Wisconsin. Oh. <sighs> Well, we got to make a decision. Our crew. When are we going to call our guy? It depends on what sport. Uh, does anyone know this? No. No. Was it like fucking Syracuse? All right. You want me? To, I can. Do you want to guess, or do I'm, you want to? I'm gonna. No, let's just call him. We need points, man. We're getting absolutely. Slaughtered. Yeah, we do. We need points in a big way. We're, we're gonna call him. We 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 got we got. We gotta, we're gonna call. We're gonna use phone gonna a friend. Call him. Keep rolling your eyes, Rico. We're gonna call him. Who, Brad? <laughs> What? No, we don't have bread. What? Usually it's 
usually it's Frankie's. No, it's Frankie's brother-in-law. Brother-in-law. Yeah. Okay. Hasn't he been like bad? No. Hasn't missed one. Perfect. What happened to Frankie? You guys know? Perfect timing. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, now we yeah. can. Okay, okay. All right, ready? We're getting slaughtered, so this isn't going to save us or win us or anything, but this is good to get points. During the 2017 season, junior QB Malik Rogier led this ACC school to an Orange, orange Bowl appearance, a 34-24 loss to Wisconsin. Wait, say it again? Junior QB Malik Rogier led this ACC school to an Orange Bowl appearance, 34-24 loss to Wisconsin. Orange Bowl, Malik Rozier. Yeah, I feel you said ECC. Yes, I feel like it was Louisville. Okay. Um, Malik Rozier. Now, it might. It's either Louisville or Miami. Okay. Gotta hang up in five. Who do you? All right, five uh, seconds. What do you think? Three. Two. Malik Rozier. Right now, right. One. Gotta hang up. Louisville gotta final. Okay. He's saying he said Miami. Oh. Trent said final. He's saying go with Miami. Hold on. I, my, I had to take my AirPods out for the call. I, I can barely hear you guys. Hold tight. Hold tight. You checking it? What are we doing here? I don't know what we're doing. Yeah, Trent said final answer. The Louisville incorrect. Do we think it's Miami, guys? Do you know or no? I actually thought it was Louisville. No, I thought it was, I think I I was concerned. I was yeah, but now I think it's Miami. Didn't Wisconsin beat Miami, and then that's when they did the coach thing. Like Miami, that. final answer. Was it doing the that is correct. Ooh, yeah. Wait a minute, hold on. I wait, wait a minute. I said because you were he was counting down for he five. He, I just said Louisville. No, he, I was counting down him hanging up. You took it as me counting down the answer. He did oh, say I thought final that's, answer. I thought it was no. Final. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a new final answer guy. I don't have to tell you. That was, yeah, uh, yeah. That, oh, that's, that's tough. fucked. That's tough. Yeah, that is tough. But that is, he did say it. I thought I heard him say it. we had to confirm if we were. Checking. No, I did. I definitely said it. Um, Damn, that is, that is the point for Minahan, seven to two. Uh, Team Minahan, here's your question. All right, be ready, guys. During the 2014 season, senior QB Bo Wallace led this SEC school to a Peach Bowl appearance, a 42, 20, a 42 to three blow loss to TCU. Auburn. Final answer. Mm. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. Um, I mean, Bo Wallace. Um, let's the Peach Bowl appearance. They lost forty-two to three. It's true. Fucking um, Vanderbilt or like? Uh, <laughs> I don't know either. I'm, I don't know why I'm like. Well, like it wasn't. Uh, you know. Let's. I don't know, Florida State? Five. That's not SEC. Florida? SEC. Oh, Florida? Three, two. So you're like Mississippi State. Mississippi One. State final. South Carolina? Right State, wrong school. Ole Miss. Shit. Just, just, we're just missing by and we're getting I also, fucking I do, killed. I think, I think the Terry Rozier of Louisville confused people. In the yes. Minutes, maybe, yeah. Uh, movies next category. You're still down 5-4 play after all the, the hubbub the last two rounds. Movies, though, do you want to double Kirk? Uh yeah, okay. Doubled up for for Minahan, single for four play. Damn, make it seven three. What actor was in these movies from two thousand three to th through two thousand four? Head of State, Charlie's Angels, Full Throttle, Bad Santa, and Ocean's Twelve. Oh, I got it. Is it Bernie Mac? It's not Bernie Mac. Oh, I think it is Bernie Mac. Bad Santa, Ocean's Twelve, Head of State. I don't know what Full Throttle is, and I'm pretty sure he was in Charlie's. Yeah, I mean, he was in Charlie's. In, if he was in those three, it's got to be him. I think. Yeah, I think it's Bernie Mac. We go with that. Yeah, Bernie Mac. Final answer. Seven to three. Of Kyle. There we go. go. We would not have gotten that one. Fuck. We had Miami. I'm sorry, man. It's Make okay. It's nine. okay. <laughs> I couldn't Make hear anything. Nine. That's the worst part. Good job. Make it nine to three. What actor was in these movies from 2003 to 2004? Runaway Jury, Finding Neverland, I Heart Huckabees, and Meet the Fockers. What actor was in these movies from 2003? I don't know any of the other three, so, like, who's a bit character in Meet the Fockers? Jesus, I have no idea. Fuck. Gene Hackman? Fuck. 
Owen Wilson. I think Owen Wilson. Maybe. 15 seconds. Is Gene Hackman and I don't think it'll be Gene Hackman. I heart. Did I double, did I double this? Yes. Yeah. Five. Shit. Four. Three. Two. One. Dustin Hoffman, final answer. Fuck. Nine wow. God damn it. <laughs> Wait, he knew Holy. that the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Matt, I we were gonna get Is that, that intentional? Back. Fuck. That was intentional. <laughs> what the fuck? Fuck. <laughs> Brutal. Time to make the donuts. Here we go. Short on bonus round time. It's a closest guest battle. Team that has uh, the most points, uh, the the first team to three points, that is, uh, will win the bonus round. Uh, it'll be one-on-one. You cannot get help from your teammates. You'll be guessing a number. Uh, you can go over the number. You can go below the number. No price is right rules. Per team that is closest gets a point. First team to three points wins the bonus round. If you get it dead on, which four plays done multiple times, I think Minahan has actually done it once before as well. Uh, uh, definitely did it once before. You get two points. Here we go. Uh, Trent, who do you want to have go first for your squad? Uh, we're going to go with Frankie. Okay. Kirk. I'll go. Ooh. Kirk versus Frankie. Here we go. Here we go. Here's your question. Okay. Duration in seconds of the Simpsons opening theme song in the 1989 premiere. So the original theme song. It doesn't vary that much, but just we're going to go with a standard one. Duration in seconds of the Simpsons opening theme from their 1989 premiere. Pens down in five, four, three, two, one. Duration in seconds. Frankie, what's your guess? 42. 42. No. Kirk. 62? The correct answer is 87. That is wow. one point for Team Minahan. All right. Who do you want to have go next, Trent? Uh, I'll go. Okay. Kirk. Uh, Rico Bosco. Rico against Trent. Number of Billboard Hot 100 hits with Pitbull as a featured artist. Number of Billboard Hot 100 hits with Pitbull as a featured artist. 20 seconds. one nothing. Team Minahan. Five. Pen, you got good? Yep. Rico. Uh, excuse me. Uh, nope. Trent, reveal. I said nine. Rico said? 17. Correct answer is 15. Two oh, to nothing, Team go. Manahan. Oh, Hank boy, versus Kyle. Hank versus Kyle. <laughs> we're so bad. We are the worst people at this game <laughs> Hank ever. versus Kyle. It's amazing we're in the league. Team Minahan. You got this. You win no matter what. All right, Hank. Total U.S. Uh, no, excuse me. That's all right. 2020 U.S. Census population of Phoenix, Arizona. 2020 U.S. Census population of Phoenix, Arizona. Four play, you get this, you're still alive. I mean, what the fuck? Five. I don't know. Four. Mm -hmm. Three. Two, one. Kyle, reveal. I said three fifty k. It might Oof. be low. Three fifty thousand. Hank. Wait, what was that? Oof, Kirk, because it's really low. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I had two hundred seventeen thousand three hundred sixty eight. <laughs> correct answer is one point six million. Well, technically, play oh, a lot. <laughs> does that count as one? Does that count as one point two million? Did he just write it differently? All right, boys, uh, we're still in it. Okay, you Trent, you're, you're alive. Like a one. Um, Worcester, Massachusetts, or Phoenix, Arizona? <laughs> yeah, the he, desert. There's a lot of there's a lot of wide open space. Jeff, he technically didn't cross off the one. So like, okay, um, you want to ask? Yeah, it's a good. It's okay, Frankie. You go ahead. We're gonna go with Frankie. Oh, okay, you Frankie. got it. You're great Frankie, at this. You have go. Um, you know what? I'll have Rico go here. All right, here we go. 
Frankie Babe Stroop. Ruth's Babe Ruth's career regular season batting average. I actually know this. Oh shit. <laughs> Babe Ruth's career regular season batting average. Four play, you get a dead on, you actually win the bonus round. There you and, go, and dude. No matter what, you win the bonus round. Just guess Babe Ruth's regular season batting average on the nose. You got it. Hands down in five, four, three, two, one. Frankie reveal. It's a 287. Wow. Wow. I changed 287 to 289. The answer is 342. Oh! Unbelievable. 342? What was he hitting beach balls? Yeah. I don't think he would have a 300 because he was a power hitter, but I know he's the best ever. That's crazy. Good job. Uh, I thought it was one of those things. It's like, oh, Babe Ruth didn't even hit 300. The fact that these guys are doing – fuck! Good job. Uh, <laughs> next category is golf. <laughs> oh, we're fucked. Oh, we're fucked. Oh, we, oh, we don't have our real, our real golf guy. Wait until you see these dumb faces when you ask this question. Golf. Keem in and you have call a friend. For four play, you have your double sip remaining. This is a joke. Vodka. For four play. <laughs> A, a European oh, golfer won the 2013 U.S. Mm-hmm. Open. Who was the golfer, and at what course did the tournament take place? Oh. Fuck. This was the expected Riggs versus Kirk showdown here, but yes. Yeah, I just didn't have the right flights, you know? Fifteen seconds. Think of... Anyone in 2013? Was it Rory? Five. No. I don't know. What uh, maybe. Yeah, we don't. Two. Fucking. I wouldn't even know where to go. probably yell. the third at Wingfoot. Justin Rose and Marion? Yeah, I like that. Final answer. Thanks, Hank. <laughs> we, might get, we might get kicked out of the league after this. Well, we don't deserve to be we, here. I will know this. You're down nine. This is not the worst match you've had this week. The other night, I can't uh, be XYZ, true. Large Jake and uh, Vibs were up, I believe, like sixteen to two on Kevin, Rudy, and Jack McCarthy. So uh, that doesn't matter. I feel better already. I'm just saying, just you know, uh, other side to make it thirteen to three. A European golfer in the 2010 U.S. Open. Who was the golfer? And Graham McDowell, Pebble Beach. Final answer. 13 to 3, 10 point lead. Now. He just knows more stuff than us. Snacks and candy. So, many, so much more. Snacks and candy. This is for foreplay. It'd be a big help. Yeah. Introduced in the 2010s, what does Cheez It call its split flavor box with varieties like bacon cheddar and sharp cheddar parmesan? It might be duos. Does that sound familiar? Cheez-It yeah, that duos? does. That, that actually does sound. I think that's what it is. I like that. We go with duos? Yeah, that's a thing. I've heard that. Duo's final. 13 to 4. Just rack right, of rack. points. I don't, I don't know this, so help me out here. Along with their classic mini pretzel, Snyder sells a round, bite-sized sourdough pretzel Ooh. variety under what name? You do have your call a friend if you want to use it. Nibblers? Yeah, nib- that's what I was thinking, Rico. Nibblers. Nibbles, nibblers, nibblers? I think it's nib... Nibblers. Okay, final answer. Nibblers. 14 to 4. That's a pretty damn good. 14 to 4. Start to look at some things here. Uh, Here we go. (laughs) This is for uh, foreplay television. Mm -hmm. All right. Appearing in over 100 episodes, Aziz Ansari had a supporting role as Tom Haverford in this network sitcom that debuted in 2009. Oh, that's um, that's Parks and Rec, right? Parks and Rec, yeah. Parks and Rec, final. 14 to 5. To make it 15 to 5. Don't I'm let the boys dead. get hot now. That's two in a row. Appearing, in o- appearing in over 100 episodes, Donald Faison had a major role as Christopher Turk in this network. Scrubs. Oh. Scrubs. Scrubs, final answer. If we win, hold up. Okay. Right? I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah sure. I, I know it. I know it. I know it. Well, yeah. I, I got it. Well, what? what? No, no, we're good. I got it. What? Nothing. Are you no, points what? chasing? No. That is, that is the win. It's, okay. Oh. What was wait? What was Rico? What? Which Nothing. No, all you, no, what? We're all good. What? No, you what? Gotta, what? What? I'll get to it. Shut up, Jeff. Play your game. 
Uh, niche category time. Big Bang Theory for foreplay. Oh, yeah. The Masters for Team Minahan. Here it is. Big Bang Theory. We can, we're on watch right now. In Season 2, Episode 4, Raj gets a big ego after what popular magazine features him in a 30 visionaries under 30 years to watch list? Oh, shit. Didn't jump right to me, which is never good. It's not like Wired, Popular Mechanics. Might be Popular Mechanics. Um, <clears throat> National Geographic. I'm trying to think of the kind of magazines. Five. Four. Forbes, People. Three. Let's go People, final. That is correct. 15 yeah. to seven. As soon as you said it, I was like, I think that's it. Oh, I, I mean, those are just like where you do the list, but I thought you were going through them all in your head. That's why I didn't want to say anything. No, I was thinking it was more like like what uh, Kyle was naming. Yeah, but that was good. science. Yeah. Four seven, people, seven, Us seven. Weekly. I don't know. I was just going to go through them all. People hit me in the brain. It was good, so that worked. All right. Ian Woosnam won the Masters in 1991, defeating this European golfer and future winner of the Masters. Jose Mario Othobel, finally. <laughs> <laughs> what is Fico? King. Uh, okay, I'll say it now. No team has – we just went through this last night. No team oh, has no. ever scored 20 points. Oh. There are four points remaining. Holy shit. Well, this team uh, is going to – Four play, I, you I, have I, your I double do sip. I think we can do say it. Say it again, guys. sir. We can do it, guys. Uh, four play, you do have your double sip. Um, so far in the history of the show, every team that's ever had the opportunity to, to stop a 20 point has done it with a lifeline. So we will see if that happens again. But first, oh, NFL. All we can hope to do is play spoiler here, boys. NFL for four play. This running back played for the Bills from 2007 through 2014 and total over 5,600 rushing yards, but only broke 1,000 yards in a season once. CJ Spiller is coming to mind. Oh. Um, no, not Fred Jackson, right? Um, Fred Jackson was coming to mind, but I don't know. Is that too. We First like I Spiller? Said- We like Spiller or do we like Jackson? We can double he said sip. Spiller. Do you guys want to double dip and go with both? They might both be wrong. Double sip presented by New Amsterdam Vodka. Need something in? What All do you guys want to do? Double sip them. All right, let's yeah. double sip it. Damn it. Okay. First guess. Uh, Fred Jackson. That is correct. 17 to 8. Fuck. That might have stopped it. We'll see. They got to get that the main point for 18 points. That was huge. I played for the Dolphins from 2005 through 2010 and told over 4,800 rushing yards. Ronnie Jackson? Uh, Ronnie Brown, rather? Ronnie Brown or no? <laughs> the <laughs> timeline adds up. Yeah. Ronnie Brown, final hey. answer. Oh, we could have called Frank. 18 to 8. Frank. We have me, Rico. Yes. <laughs> All right, we need to answer this so we can stop history. All right. Your double zip is off the board for play. If you miss this and they steal, Team Minahan will have a chance to go for 20 points. It's (laughs) this or that. This is a new category called this or that. You will see three pairings. You're going to tell me what the higher number is out of each pairing. Here we go. This is for four play. Who or what is higher? Todd Helton or Paul Canerco, career home runs. The Wire or House of Card episodes. The song Back in Black or Landslide Runtime. You have a minute. All right. So here's what I'm thinking. I think Canerco has more home runs than Todd Elton. I'm almost Correct. positive. I think House of Cards. How many episodes of House of Cards have? Wire has like 50. I think House of Cards was like four seasons. I think it, it was either four or five seasons, like 12 episodes a season. So That's going to be close. And then. So, yeah, it's like. Seasons. And then back in black or landslide. I think I want to say back in black, but um, You're halfway through your time. All right, let's go Canerco. Now, what do we think? The wire, the House of Cards probably has around sixty episodes. Gosh, maybe. I think the wires right in the same in the same thing. Why don't we say Canerco? The wire back in black. Do you like that? Yeah. I mean, this is fucking hard. All right, we're going to go Canerco, The Wire, Back in Black, Final. Oh! Other side. So I think it's Canerco, House of Cards, Back in Black. 
Okay. What do you guys think? Do you disagree on that? I don't want to confident. I trust you. The Kirk. wire. No, I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm I'm kind of I thought Scott Hogan sneaky hit a lot of home runs and so Todd Helton played Colorado. Kirk, Kirk, yeah. Canerco was like only a, hit a few years, but Todd Helton had a long career. I don't know. Kirk, I need I mean, something. And in. the wire had five seasons. Five seasons. House of Cards had how many? More than that, I think. Oh. But okay. shorter, maybe. Canerco, House of Cards, five. Back in black. Final answer. That is correct, 19 to 8. It was just a wire house of cards we got wrong? Yep. Shit. Oh. How long did Kelly Keeg's record last for, out of curiosity? Oh. Um, yeah, we're counting up. Oh, my the God, this is horrible. It just got smashed. Kirk has broke the individual scoring record in the history of this show. Congrats, Kirk. You're a good minute fan, Kyle. You did nothing in this game. Well done. I scored every point that we have. What are you talking about? It's true. You lost by, you lost by 11. <laughs> Well, let me do okay. Now I hate you and you got nothing for it. Who or what is higher, Prince Fielder or Ryan Howard home runs? Mad Men or Game of Thrones episodes? We are the champions or beat it runtime? I think Prince Fielder, Mad Men, we are the champions. But I could be wrong. I'm, I'm open to it, guys. Game of Thrones, how many seasons? Fucking eight? Eight seasons. They had only like eight episodes a season. Though. Yeah. Mad Men, same, I think that's super close. I, I, you could talk me into anything on this one. I don't even I feel like know. Mad Men had a lot more episodes. I feel like I Prince agree. Fielder hit 500. I feel like Ryan Howard didn't hit 500. Or Prince Fielder had the same home runs as his dad. It was like three somewhere. Oh, three so then what did Ryan? Yeah. Maybe. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking Prince Fielder, Mad Men, we are the champions, but you guys can, what do you think? Well, the only thing with that is it's all three firsts. Right, right. Okay, so go ahead. I'm not going to talk you out of it, but no, I don't know. I legitimately don't know. I'm, I'm, I, it was my first instinct. I don't know. How many seasons Mad Men go? It's tough because they split seasons. It's like weird. I feel like Mad Men's definitely the right one there. All right. Okay. Need something in. You want to phone a friend to buy us time? Five. No. Four. You have it. Three. All right. We'll go Ryan Howard, Mad Men, We Are the Champions. Other side. <laughs> wow. We didn't we didn't have history on our ass. I think I mean we just got I would, our go ass print, I would say go Prince Fielder, Mad Men, and then beat it. Would be my guess. I have no idea. Which is the theme of this. We are the champions, are the like champions combines into the other like, song, right? So it's actually a short song. Cool. Huh? We Are the Champions is a short song because it bleeds in from another song, doesn't it? Yeah, no, we, I'm pretty sure We Are the Champions is short because it's with um, We Will Rock You. All right, yeah. Kyle, what'd you say? Five. Prince Fielder, Mad Men, Beat It. Final. Ryan Howard, Mad Men, Beat It. We Are the oh, Champions all right, is so short. At least I didn't. All right. uh, we will count close. up the stats and get and get the call here on, on the injury right. scoring record, but Tim and I had a beat down 19 to 8. Kirk thought. Slaughter. Good win. Uh, good contribution from the guys. Uh, uh, First Hank match for Hank. Did, yeah, Hank did very well. Rico did well. Uh, I don't actually care about Rico's right. It's about championships. We're looking to repeat. Um, so 19 points is good. To me, that's kind of for us the over-under going forward. Anytime we score under 19, I consider it a failure for the rest of the season. So we know huh. what we can do. Hopefully there's six golf questions next time as well. That's my, uh, my I, uh Yeah. Well, Rico, what? I, I wanted to call uh, Dan Rappaport for the Scrubs question. That's what I was angling. Okay. You don't do bits, Rico. We win titles. <laughs> yep. You're right. Glad I didn't do it. Frankie, final thoughts here? It was a nightmare. You know, I, I was walking around the office today saying we're, like, getting slaughtered tonight. It felt like I was just being walked around, parade around all day just to wait for this time this time slot to come around. I, I had no confidence in this. I thought Kyle did great. I thought if I had half a brain, we would have been a lot better. We, we missed big – questions and Kirk's the king and it's it's hard to come for the throne with uh, hard to come for the crown with this three it's just as simple as that we're not good enough this is a fan vote team this isn't a meritocracy we're not good team enough. we're not good we, enough we're not, this we is love embarrassing being, that you made Kirk play us honestly yeah we love being in the league but we're going to probably get slaughtered just about anybody we play when you play Kirk and his crew you're definitely going to get slaughtered. So. You're definitely going to be playing the Ice Dogs, uh, Yandel, Chestnut, and, and Marty. That'll be a matchup for sure. Um, that's it. Kirk, the individual scoring record is now yours. 14.17 points here in the match. That that, that includes, obviously, the, the Miami give on the other side, but that counts. That's how it fucking works. Uh, 
Fourteen point one seven most ever in an individual match. But you don't care. You just said you want to repeat. No, I didn't hear what you said. Doesn't even matter to me. Okay, we move on. We move uh, on to the next one. It's about no team's ever repeated. So this is this is just helps. I mean, we are we should be the number one seed again after this. Uh, well, speaking one. of seeds, speaking of seeds, I'll say it now. Big news. <laughs> Lasted a week, but we've decided we're going to do the tournament live this year. Uh, the first two rounds of the tournament will be live uh, from an office, from like the Marshall office, and then we'll have our final four in Chicago. But they will not be aired on tape. It'll be a 12 team single elimination knockout. So the top four seeds in this league do get a bye. The regular season just got that much more important. Uh, so big news there. That is it. Uh, that's it for the week. Next week, we have uh, Uptown Balls against Flux. Uh, Uptown Balls returns Flux regular season debut. The Experts against Gaz's Soldiers regular season debut for uh, that team as well. And then our Thanksgiving battle, our annual Thanksgiving matchup, will be the Frankettes against Chicago this year. Frankettes, I think, have won like three in a row of those. Uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. Uh, we'll, we'll talk to you next time.